In this lesson, we are going to learn about compositions. In After Effects, a composition is a set of different types of layers. To understand it, let's first create a new composition by going to Composition, New. So, in this dialog box, we have a lot of parameters. Let's call it first project. This is our composition project. If we expand this drop down menu, we can see a lot of predefined composition sizes like web videos, NTSC, NTSC widescreen, PAL, HDV, and many others. Actually, NTSC and PAL are broadcast standards used in different countries. For now, I am going to choose HDTV 1080 29.97 as my goal is to publish it on the web. For web videos, you may also choose HDTV 720 29.97 which will be of size 1280 by 720 pixels. But uh, most clients demand a high resolution video so I prefer to work on 1920 by 1080 pixels. Here is the size of our composition. Although we can change sizes just by clicking on it and giving it a custom value. If you notice, we have changed only width and length has been changed according to it. This is because log aspect ratio is checked on. If you want a custom value both in width and height, you can just uncheck this box. Since I don't want these values, so I'm going to cancel it. Again, go to Composition, New. Size is SDTV 1080. Square pixels is perfect for us to get maximum render quality. Frame rate is 29.97. Here we have some other frame rates also. Some people also use 23.976, which is a bit lower frame rate. You will get a smooth animation on this frame rate too, but I prefer to work on 29.97 because it will give us a very, very smooth animation. Further, we have some resolution settings here. Just keep it to full for quality preview. Although we can change this later while working on the faster previews. By start and end time codes, we can set our project's duration. Let's leave start time code to zeros as I want to start my composition from first frame. And in end time code, let's set it to 10 seconds. Remember, first digit specifies hours, second specifies minutes, third specifies seconds and last is for frames. You can also define project duration in frames like uh, for 10 seconds long project, we have to provide 1000 frames. You can see it's showing project duration in seconds here. Now let's choose composition background color. Let me make it perfect white. Now just hit OK. Our composition has been created and listed here in the project panel. If you want to rename it, just select it and press enter. Let's call it main comp. Okay, now let's draw something to our main composition to understand the other options. So go to toolbar, press and hold on this rectangle so that you can see other shapes here. Now we can release mouse. Let's make a circle. So select this ellipse tool, go to composition screen and drag it to draw the shape. To make it perfect circle, just hold down shift on the keyboard just like you have done in any other Adobe software. To keep it in center while drawing, just hold down space bar and you can move it around. Remember, we have not released shift yet, otherwise our shape will get disturbed. After placing it to your desired position, first release space bar and then release mouse before releasing shift key. Now we have a nice red circle here. You can change its color by clicking on this fill color. Let me make it to some gray. We have also option to change the color of stroke. I am going to make it perfect black. We can also change its stroke width. So you can see here, we have a nice thick stroke on our circle. If you don't want any stroke, just set its value to zero and the stroke will be gone. As soon as we draw any shape, After Effect will add a shape layer in this layer panel. It will be more clear in further lessons. Let me grab my selection tool. Now let's have a look on different icons in our composition panel. So this is toggle mask and shape path visibility icon. If we disable it, 
we won't see the blue border around the selected shape. Let me zoom a bit to make it more clear. You can see we have a blue border around the selected circle. It will be present on any selected object. Now switch this icon and you will see the difference. So don't get confused with it. Now let me zoom out it. In the right corner, we have a flyout menu. Go to view options. Here we have some options for layers like what controls will be present and what will not. Let's uncheck this layer control and hit OK. Now our layer is still selected, but there is no handle on our shape. It seems like it is not selected. So again, go to the view options and check this box to show the layer controls. Here is our resolution settings. Currently, it's set to half. So if we zoom out it to 25%, now resolution is changed to quarter. If we zoom it to 100%, resolution will be changed to full automatically. This is because it's set to auto. So whenever we zoom in or zoom out, After Effects will change its resolution to give us best preview. So if we set it to half instead of auto, you can see we have a Zerky line here. And don't worry about it, it's only for previewing project here. So keeping it to half resolution, if we zoom out to 33%, we will get good preview again. But if we zoom out it a bit more, preview will not be excellent. So we always keep it to auto for excellent previews. If you notice, it has automatically changed to quarter again. Now it will adjust resolution according to the zoom levels. This is toggle transparency icon. It will switch between composition color and transparency. And keep in mind that when we have to export any project without any background color, we don't need to set it to transparent. We can do that with the render settings by adjusting our alpha channel. To understand other options, let me first open a project. This is a app prototype video which I have made for my client. If you look, here we have a lot of compositions. Actually, in After Effects, we can create several compositions just in one project. And we can also use one composition in another composition. In the composition panel, it will show all composition created in the current project and which composition is nested in which composition is shown by arrows. Like uh, in this project, Comp1 is used in final composition. Find Friends Comp is nested in Comp1. So After Effect provides us a very smooth navigation system. If we click on any composition, it will open that in Timeline panel. So it's very very handy. By clicking on this icon, we can take a snapshot of current screen. Let me adjust my playhead first. Now let's zoom it a bit to make it more clear. Okay, now just take a snapshot of the current screen. Now move playhead to the under position and click and hold on show snapshot button and it will show you the last taken snapshot. You can use this to compare positions of the shapes. But remember, it can only hold one snapshot at a time. It means if we take next snapshot, last second snapshot will be replaced. We have some other icons also, but they will be more clear while working on the projects. I just want to show you one more feature. Here we have some preview options. Currently, it's set to final to get final quality, but it will slow down your working speed because whenever you make change, it will render it in full quality and will take a lot of time in larger projects. If we set it to fast draft, it will reduce display quality, but it will be faster to get previews. Well, I prefer to work on adaptive resolution because when we move playhead, preview will become of lower quality for faster render. But as soon as we release our playhead, it will show that frame in final quality. So it makes my working speed faster and I can also see things very clearly. We will learn more about composition in further lessons. In next lesson, we will learn about layers.